Okay guys, today we're doing a reasonably short video breaking down my bushcrafting mess kit and we're going to be talking about what I use to eat with and just talking about some different options. Now this is far from perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but this is what works for me and this is what I use. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so starting it with the mess kit, this is what it looks like whenever I throw it into any of my packs. You can see it's pretty small pretty uh, low profile and streamlined. So let's start out with the outside. So the first part is a Snow Peak titanium plate and this is a super lightweight uh, little option that I keep to use as either a plate in the traditional sense or I can craft a small handle and turn it into a lightweight frying pan for heating up really fast and cooking some smaller things, but still some fairly sizable things. This just has a lot of surface to it, and it works pretty well in those regards. So that's what kind of remains nested on the outside. Now, on the inside of it is pretty basic, and I've gone over this kit before, uh, but I did a specific video talking about this kit, not necessarily my mess kit itself. Now, this is just the Boy Scouts of America um, mess kit, and these can be had for pretty inexpensive prices on eBay. And there's different makes and models, there's aluminum, there's steel, and there's a lot of talk in the community of, you know, what's better. And people don't necessarily like the aluminum ones, and I can see why they are a little bit more fragile. But when we mean a little bit more fragile, these things are still plenty fieldable. And this is certainly no new kit. Uh, you know, it's a new kit to me, but it's not necessarily a new kit. You can see it's seen pr plenty of life before me. I just try to keep it clean looking <laughs> uh, for sanitary sake. Or for sanitation's sake. So, of course, with this kit, or with the um, mess kit, you have another plate. And this is kind of a deeper dish plate than the uh, titanium plate that I have. And that's certainly okay. This one I rarely ever use, um, and it kind of goes to show. You can see that this looks pretty new and pretty unused, and that's because I don't have a whole lot of use for plates, especially in this particular mess kit, because, you know, I have an actual skillet here. But this is still useful, especially if you're sharing, you know, with multiple people. But I also use it because it's a part of the nesting system. So next to that, of course, you have the skillet with its folding handle. And, of course, you can run a stick through this. You know, pretty cool stuff. Um, it's just a real multi-tool of a skillet. And uh, the handle is a little bit long, but it does work pretty well. And then next to that, as it all wants to fall apart, or fall out, <laughs> is the small pot um, here with a little bale. And this works pretty well, of course. This probably sees the most action, as you can see. But I do like it, and while it is small on the outside, it does hold actually quite a bit of food if you're cooking in it. So then next to that is the cup, and I'm considering ditching it, but this is a cup, and it is in here, and it works for now. I'm not sure I'll keep the cup around forever, just because uh, it's extra weight and it's extra bulk and it doesn't necessarily need to be in here to make this whole kit work and usually I'm running a Vargo bot which is not necessarily a part of the mess kit but I almost always have the Vargo bot on me so having a little cup like this isn't necessary but it is a part of the kit for now and it is a part of the standard mess kit so that's the basics to it you got a pot you got a skillet a plate and a little mug and like I said I carry the I carry the uh, Snow Peak, like I was saying, I carry the Snow Peak uh, plate as a backup skillet for something that's just a little bit bigger than this skillet and heats up very fast. So that's why I usually carry this guy, plus it adds practically no weight to this overall setup. Uh, it's very lightweight and very streamlined. So. Nothing too much to talk about with my mess kit, but I thought I would break it down and kind of share with you guys so that when you see it in videos and such, you know what I'm rolling with and what I'm using. And like I said, it's very basic, very, very cheap setup. I think this whole thing between the plate and this mess kit costed me like 30 bucks. It's super cheap, 
but uh, it does the trick every time, and really, in the end, that's all that matters. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.